Hi there, my name is Vicki Finn from Five Spot Green Living, and today I want to talk to you about peppermint oil. Peppermint oil has so many uses, it's no wonder this oil is a staple in many people's homes. I should note that peppermint oil is intense and far more concentrated than other essential oils. It is advised not to use on young children unless it's part of a blend that is heavily diluted. So uh, peppermint oil is amazing. Um, I've actually been using it at night as part of the RC blend because I still have a residual cold and as you can hear I'm a little bit nasally. Um, but I love peppermint when I'm in the car. I actually was on a road trip with my father a few weeks ago and he likes to have the music loud and everyone on the road is a meathead, especially in traffic. It's everything's meathead. So um, it was a little bit stressful and I was hungry. So I put the peppermint oil on my temples in the back of my neck and it just helped me get through the ride so that I didn't get sick and I wasn't nauseous. Peppermint oil also helps with heartburn. You can put a drop of peppermint oil in your tea along with a teaspoon of honey. You, you can use it to cool a fever. A few drops of peppermint oil uh, applied to a wet washcloth. You apply it from head to toe. It will actually cool a fevered body by a few degrees. Another thing peppermint oil does is reduce bloating. When you rub it on your belly, um, it will help bloating that's caused by gas and indigestion. And um, peppermint oil will deter mice. Yes, you can put a few drops on cotton balls and put them in areas around your home where the mice like to congregate. The mice do not like peppermint. Um, neither do raccoons. Um, neither do spiders or ants or aphids in your garden. So you can actually do the same thing for spiders and ants. Um, you can also make a spray with the peppermint oil. Put a few drops of the oil in uh, mister with some um, with some water, and then this is how you can spray it in your garden. And perhaps the best thing about peppermint oil is that you can remove a tick by using peppermint oil. You put it on a Q-tip, dab it on the tick the tick will actually come out of your skin. The head will come out. It just does not like the peppermint oil. So that is my roundup of peppermint oil uses. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.